Hey there, I'm Mr. Terry, a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teach Reacts video. All right, a few days ago, I finally got to reacting and commenting on a video that I have been begged to cover for a long time. And that was Starve Harv's video of historical events that were poorly translated. And it was hilarious. And it was really fun to do some historical commentary on it too, to kind of explain what do you think this event was actually trying to refer to? And as I can tell from the views, you guys really love seeing that too. Starve Harv got back to me and said he really appreciated the video and the commentary on it. And he said, feel free to cover more in the future. So we are definitely gonna do that today because it looks like we've got another bad translation video. Now this one's titled, Destroying History with Bad Translations. Before we get to that, please, please, please make sure to support Starve Harv. He's a growing channel right now. He has 31,000 subscribers. And with how positively the reaction has been to his content, we gotta get those subscribers up more. So the original link to this video is gonna be down below. Make sure you go over there, give it the view, like, subscribe, and drop a comment letting him know that Mr. Terry sent you. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm dressing historical today. I don't know if the shirt's been badly translated, but... All right, let's see some more bad history. Yo, you want some bad translations? Yes. I got you. Is that him? I went through every year in history the Chad. on Saka Wikipedia from 41 AD to 2022. And okay. forced 41 AD, we're like Roman Empire, kind of getting into the uh, 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 Pax Romana period, kind of the height of things. Google Translate to translate it to English. Here are the highlights. Hey, we all know, I said this in the first video, um, that if, if you have taken a course or something, of course, on a, um, on another language, that like those translation softwares at Google Translate, they're not always perfect. Sometimes there's gram grammatical nuance and stuff, and it can get kind of messy. You got to learn the language. In 41 AD, Augustus. the Praetoria Guards killed Caligula, <laughs> oh, the Roman Emperor, Caligula. and killed him. <laughs> Sorrow Twice. senators were able to sell- I mean, yeah, like, Rome has this long history of, uh, you know, assassinations. Um, and sometimes it's by the closest guards and people that somebody can have. That's actually like a global thing. And trade. And the emperor Claudius was the father of Caligula. Okay, yeah. And then I think the next day, the senate of Kenites, Claudius, is the emperor of the Roman Empire. A Apostle Paul- Okay messages to the colossians paulinius went back he, wait he messaged who Paul oh the colossians okay yeah messages yeah, yeah, yeah. to the colossians i mean the, the in the bible in the new testament what half of it is uh paul's writings their letters to other people um so yeah i mean he did send a message to him as a letter it's a paulinius book. went back to the silurians he was unable to explain why he had been buried in baudic what is baudic and he'd been and then one of the events they rose him from the in dead. 57 AD is just Emperor Ming of China. <laughs> <laughs> Emperor Ming of China, uh, 76 AD. All right, a lot of breakdown from that one. First, uh, we are many centuries away from the Ming coming into power. <laughs> uh, they were a response to taking over China after the Mongols. Um, and Ming means bright, by the way. The, the Mongols were darkness, the Ming, this new empire or whatever, they are going to be bright. That's it. Huns brought Kota to Central Asia. And a the lot first of stuff bill to Central was Asia. asked to ask the question, the emperor is a child. It's 62 Sometimes AD. Sometimes that happens. Uh, the day is chapter five. Pompeii, parentheses Italy, is the ancient secret neighbor of Pompeii. Oh, it should have put, uh, it would have been funnier if it would put out to Mount Vesuvius was the secret neighbor of Pompeii, because that's the, that's the volcano that blew him up. The Vesuvius volcano, oh, which okay. grew from 17 to 79 years old, made this region full of ashes. millions of years old. It's 104 <laughs> AD. Hot Huns are selling steamed rice in the area. <laughs> the ambassador of the Han Dynasty did not meet. Did not meet who? Han Dynasty? Come on. Golden age of classical Chinese civilization, by the way. <laughs> Hot single Huns in your area. <laughs> 107 AD. Huns were all up on the Trajan Romans, Trajan had four tears in his mouth. That's right, I this counted it. This is 5,000 pairs of gladiators. That's a very strange conversion rate. And it Maybe that's why the bodily fluids of gladiators um, fetch such a high price. Did you know that? That they would sell the sweat? Um to, uh, uh, they would sell the sweat of gladiators. Women liked it. I don't know if they just liked the fragrance of that, but it's also used as like an aphrodisiac, so. A thousand pairs of gladiators. That's a very strange conversion rate. And in China, <laughs> 106 people from Japan to China. And the Huns? Well, 
Okay. Yeah, I forget how many. That was the time when, yeah, Japan really started exploring outside of Japan, the Japanese, and one of the places they went to frequently, obviously, geographically speaking, was China. Um, in early and ancient times, the Japanese adopted a lot of things actually from Chinese uh, Chinese culture. So, uh, fashion, food, um, written characters, and stuff like that. That over time, you know, they would they would do the, they, would, they would undergo this process called selective borrowing, where it's like you can take you take some of the cultural aspects of another culture that you think fit or whatever, and then you discard some, right? Like they never really did the imperial system in Japan because they were the tight clan based uh, city states, almost more like Greece than anything. Where empire in China was all about imperial rule. And in China, 106 people from Japan to China. So yeah, they would send students and there, the and then they would come back. And the of the past put their clothes in the Sayu Kura what is that? in China. No, they were close so, somewhere. They were so hot, they had to put their clothes into China. October 19, <laughs> 197 AD. Septimus Severus was killed by the usurper Claudius Albinus in the massacre of Lug's Horse. And this massacre was a massacre that the emperor would stop until the Roman army was defeated. I didn't follow that entire sentence. On the 27th of August. <gasps> Constantinople. Now Istanbul. This would be the Constantinople era, though, because it looks like... Oh, it's 537 anyway, so yeah, for sure. Uh, new capital of Rome, right? Constantine uh, heads over to the east, closer to their enemy, builds a new city. Oh, so cool. Too bad they don't have... You see the big stadium in the center there? The big racetrack? That's the, uh, the Hippodrome. Unfortunately, that was uh, taken down and then replaced... Uh, by other buildings, you can see today there's mosques and stuff, but that would have been cool if they preserved that. Same with the Romans. How do you get rid of the Circus Maximus? I think it's so cool. You can you can walk through the where the Circus Maximus was and not even know that it was there. Like, you would have to know beforehand. It's just a big, grassy field now. It's kind of a shame. August, 537 AD. The city of Constantinople, also known as Istanbul, was visited by the Sophia Cathedral. <laughs> was visited by it they built it uh it was the big the big church the big cathedral um that constantine had started but really the modern version of it was really a couple hundred years later after by um the most famous of all the byzantine era of rome if you want to call it that emperors justinian who really beautified it. he made constantinople this just beautiful place invested a crazy amount of money he was very luxurious type of dude there but um still stands it was the largest by area uh Christian Cathedral all the way till modern St. Peter's, which doesn't, you know, tap, isn't built in its final form till the Renaissance. So one of my favorite buildings in the world, I put it on my top five, I think, buildings um, of all time. Still never been there, but it is a, it's a major goal. It's a bucket list. He just came to visit. He's like, all right. 1066 that didn't look like it, AD. Though. Harold Godwinson, England team. Later in the year, found in the Westminster Abbey. My favorite Here month, William 1614. Hastings massacre of Duke William of Normandy and the loss of England's throne. Sotoru, yeah, yeah. almost as much as William, will spread the secret of the feudal lords of England yeah, to there the was whole already of England. There. Mantan and Bees and Bies go home from the English language to the French language. There's some weird little sprinkles of truth that you can find in there. So that's um, the uh so the invasion okay from normandy which is northern france of uh, william the conqueror comes takes over the throne takes over england now uh big turning point a lot of people uh, almost look at like look at this as like the birth of like the the, the england that you really kind of have today um with that but yes it would have been intermingled with french influence as well um it's not something i don't think the english want to hear wilhelm the first <laughs> the great becomes King of England. Nope. Yosef <laughs> Ibn Nagrel, who was the first Muslim to enter the city of Granada, did not die. Okay. <laughs> uh, Muslims were in that region uh, centuries before that. That's newsworthy. Yes. 1109, the Poles and the Germans were killed. Rest in peace. Henry VIII or Henry V. <laughs> in 1230, okay. Castile no. and Aragon became one of the kingdoms. Certainly one of the kingdoms of all time. Of all time, uh, they are kingdoms in what would be modern day Spain. <laughs> the Battle of Saul, is that real? Better call 12, Saul actually a good show. The Mongols conquered the Sun Empire. <laughs> They're in space now. <laughs> I can see though where I could see where the, the translation Mongols conquered came from. The Sun I got two, Empire. 
Okay. I got two comments on this. First, the Mongols conquered the Song Empire of China, S-O-N-G. That's what they conquered. They ruled China for the next 50 years or so. <laughs> and uh, so you got that. So that's there. But to be honest, if there was any empire in history that maybe got closest to conquering the sun... It was probably the Mongols. <laughs> um, Jenga said that the whole plan for what he was doing in his conquest was basically one people under one sky, right? And you have the sun there, so... Badly translated, but rooted in some actual history. They're in space now. <laughs> in 1291, the Crusaders refused to enter Palestine. That's true, actually. I'm not going in. 13. <laughs> so fourth crusade fourth crusade this is the one you might have heard of which was the disastrous one for the christian crusaders by the time the fourth crusade had come around so many people that were now joining in crusades were basically just mercenaries they were people looking for money land that kind of stuff and it's almost like it became less about the religious ideas that you may have seen more influence of in earlier crusades but yeah they were all about money and they made it all the way to, you know across europe and then into Constantinople, right? Kind of like the command center for the Christian crusaders and wanted their money and the empire and the emperor didn't really pay them. And uh, they got so pissed that they sacked the city, killing a whole bunch of Christians and never actually making it to the Holy Land, never making it to Palestine. You know, too, the French are barking. In 1346, black milk, See? plague in Europe in two pandemics. <laughs> in 1337... The you know what, though? It's kind of gross, but like... You know, when you got buboes, and if you were to, like, uh, open them up, buboes were the big bruises, the big blackish bruises. Like, when you cut them open, it basically looked like black milk. The family series. That's the original family guy. 1415. <laughs> like time, In baby. this way, the French are better than the British. 1420. I didn't say it, Britain. Neither did Starvarv. It was just the translations. Leave us alone. <laughs> the clothes are worn in the evening. In the to, 1450s, cold. the Ottoman Empire conquered most of Europe. They'd done it by then. They'd pretty much done it by then. The Ottoman then. Empire conquered most of Europe. Well, I, I spoke way too soon. Of the European conquest that they did, which was vast, pretty much like a, what, can we say maybe a third? A quarter at least. We at least have, what, like a third of what we consider Europe. Um, by 1450... Of that whole region there, pretty much the light green stuff uh, you're seeing there, not count, not Spain, but like southeastern Europe, was pretty much all that was left was Constantinople. Uh, the Byzantine Empire, which used to control, you know, all that, um, was was uh, pretty much just Constantinople left. 1453 is the siege of Constantinople, officially putting an end to the Roman Empire. Yeah. <laughs> Once again... Castile, Leon, and Aragon are part of the kingdoms. They are? Well, they're they kingdoms? still are one of the kingdoms of all time. <laughs> yeah. In 14... They're getting closer. Okay, now they're getting into 1490s. We're getting to the uh, Reconquista, where the you know, Spanish kingdoms are going to drive out the uh, uh, um, Muslim authority in, in, uh, in, in Spain, the Moors. That was in 1492. 1490. So. Middle-class housing develops in Europe. Less protection. And geography is not for the elderly. <laughs> okay, if you're like 60 doing it. geography, get out. We haven't got it by now, it's over. 1532. Reformation Spain, time. Okay. The Incans are going to eat their food. Autom <laughs> this, is the, this is during the conquest now, down there. Um, Inca conquest, though, a little bit later. Uh, Cortez lands in 1519, and that was up there. Cortez ends up going back, writing his book. He influences Francisco Pizarro, comes about, yeah, yeah, it's actually, it's, it's, yeah, it's actually as close there, so. And yeah, ate their food, because who else is food you're going to eat? Especially potatoes, which the Inca um, and that region basically invented, <laughs> pretty much. conquer Persia, the Habsburgs co then conquer Persia. No, they did Venice not. Venice conquers Venice. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, just no. wanted in on it, but they uh, didn't achieve much. They did not conquer Persia, by the way. The, the inclusion of Wales in the legal system of England. Yeah. It's the first time Wales was legal. Yeah, so, okay. from 1618 <laughs> to 1648, a long time ago, they brought their horses and horses to Germany, and they were sent to Audio France, drop on their end. Spain, and Sorry. Sweden. All those who joined the European Union are satisfied. <laughs> Protected from dis European unions many centuries later, and until after World War II. Discrimination for the sake of religion. 
Protestants are Catholics. Ooh, don't tell that to Protestants. Catholics will say they're heretic. The Protestants are heretics. Protestant term literally means protesting the authority of the Pope, which is essentially Catholic Catholicism. A bit controversial. The Habsburgs, who were in good health, kept their eyes open no. for the future. Okay, I'm glad you, it you flashed the Habsburgs. We all know the, the incestuous relationships of the Habsburgs the leading to awful formations of faces. They were very ugly people. You know what's kind of crazy about that is like you can see in the background there, um, you know, the famous Habsburg chin and stuff. And, you know, think about this. When, when, you know, monarchs, people in power want paintings of themselves when they commit or um, they buy commissions, right? They get commissions uh, to get somebody to paint, to paint them. They're always going to make them look good. It's like if you're a painter and the king wants a painting of you, you're going to try to make them look good. You got to keep a little bit realistic as much as you can, but you're not going to make them look bad. And you look at the Habsburg paintings. It's like that is as good as they could make them look. So think how ugly they were in actuality. Ooh. That eyes open for the future. It is a good idea to open the door to all people who have bought it and spread the word. Okay. <laughs> spread the word about the big, the open door. Okay. In 1654, Ukraine annexes Russia. Nope. In 1764, nope. <laughs> the secret of the new diet, secularization. <laughs> there you go. If you're trying to lose lose weight, just Ooh, secularize. That guy's mm. cool on the left. <laughs> 1776, slavery nine. Scotland is divided from the rest of the world. In 1781, one of the earlier uh, Anglo kind of nations to abolish slavery, I believe. Right? Is that what they're referring to? On William Herschel will destroy the planet. 1783. That happened. He failed. Series for the preparation of the eclipse of the United States. France and Spain give Great Three. Britain of Gibraltar to the series. Everything that goes to Spain from the UK will be sent to Gibraltar within 12 days. There's some weird translations of like Spain. Because Spain was actually um, also directly and indirectly involved in the American uh, Revolution, which was British Gibraltar is not up. the same as this island. 1784. <laughs> The 14th anniversary of the 14th anniversary of the 14th anniversary of the 1783 anniversary of the birth of the <laughs> 1783 anniversary of the 14th anniversary. <laughs> I'm going to die next. I'm going to die. Okay, Google Translate, whoever did this just had a stroke. <laughs> So check out 1799 from the beginning of the arrival in Great Britain the minds of the people are not killed slavery okay. 3 1799 maybe they're killed by the enlightenment <laughs> just going on well the French revolutions kind of wrapping up if you want to think of it that way Admiral Fedor Ushenkov completed the surrender of the French garrison before the arrival of Corfu I can save you from childbirth <laughs> That could mean a lot of things. <laughs> I'll let you think about that. By the way, I'm going to ask at the end, I'm going to put a comment under this video of which, which translation you think was the funniest. Uh, start thinking about that and then post it down below in the comment. Uh, reply to my post. 1803. The United States of America went to Orleans for the ceremony of surrendering Louisiana from France. France will sell the secret of the United States of America to the United States for $10 million. Oh man, there's so much truth actually into that. The United States wanted to buy New Orleans. New Orleans is where the, you know, the uh, uh, Mississippi River basically ends as it goes into the ocean. And the uh, Mississippi River was kind of the lifeblood of inner, uh, lifeblood of uh, inner America. And they wanted to, to do that. They were going to pay, yeah, $10 million there. Um, and then what ends up happening, this is the Napoleonic era, is they, uh, you know, um, negotiate with France, and Napoleon is like, yo, you can have everything we have there. You can have all of Louisiana, which is like the middle third of the United States today, and just pay a few more million. And that ended up being a great financial deal for the United States, and double the size of the um, United States uh, in that process. It's a bit hard. 1804. 
The end of the Ottoman Empire was part of the first nope. Serbian civilization. Nope, none Images of that's true. like a space empire. <laughs> Johann Ladner, who came from Frankfurt to Vienna, Austria, made a sausage. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Those who are yes! afraid of sausages will come from Vienna to Frankfurt. <laughs> Who was in Vienna that was like, no, I gotta get out of here. Uh, sorry, you're going to get just as many sausages in Frankfurt. Sausages from Frank sausages from Frankfurt are the meat of the middle class, and they are connected to the meat of Vienna sausages. Classic sausages, Vienna sausages made according to the original recipe is one of the most important ingredients in the kitchen. Vasily True. Fedorov, there was a person nothing wrong who was with able that. to enter the field from the shadow of the people of the city. Before singing new songs, ask the women of the village to learn more about their beards. <laughs> 1807, Napoleon's massacre. <laughs> Napoleon knew that Benigsen's relatives would return to Ilau, and the massacre of 40 was carried out. I'm not going to kill you anymore. 1808. Well, I guess they did kill Napoleon. He ended up dying from his stomach ulcer, cancer, slash poison, anything you want to do. So, 21st yeah. day of the year, the number of nuclear power plants in the world is the same as that of Sweden. Wait, is that true? <laughs> in 1809. First off, no. <laughs> there wasn't a nuclear power by then. Would it be the Swedes of them? I mean, they're very industrious. Alexander the first found the land of Finland in Russia. Nobody had ever seen it. It was there the before. whole time. It just yeah, took him a bit to find. Was hiding. Louis Braille, France is a plane, a letter to change the mind of on behalf of the anal group. 1814. Napoleon will come again. But after the massacre of the Brienne horse, Napoleon will not show back. mercy to Prussia and Russia. It does not have a lot of milk. Three to four <laughs> tons of milk and 11 what tons of milk. Please. Which just sound like quite a bit of milk, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. 1891, Alexander III was very angry about the Trans-Siberian Railway. <laughs> okay. I, there's There's got to be more depth to it. Um, it uh, invigorated the lifeblood of uh, Russian economy. Um, you know, they had already spread basically all the way to the Pacific by then and wanted to link all that for timber and the fur trade and the mining and all that stuff. It was a huge undertaking. <laughs> it's World War One, and it's the beginning of the day. It was one of the events of the sowing of wild wheat. That's gotta be it. Also in World War One, 12 million people were Euphemism. sent to Syria to get milk <laughs> because of their income milk. from prayers and 55 million people to the West. In 1918, <laughs> the Ukrainian People's Republic of Ukraine has decided to withdraw from Ukraine. They might have to change their name now. In 19... The Russian Revolution, you got people that were trying to pull away. Gotta be, that's gotta be tied in there somewhat. 23. <laughs> it is known that Walt Disney is a media corporation with a huge financial budget and a lot of killers. Oh my gosh. In 1928, gosh. the quality Hello. of the field saw is very good due to the introduction of giants. That would probably help out. <laughs> 1933. A lot of stuff going on now. Uh, Nazis are in control of Germany. Uh, Japan's creeping into China. If Germany is freed. Hindenburg is removed from the chancellorship of Adolf Hitler and the Nazis are coming. Also, that, that basically was all true. <laughs> in 1933, which I didn't know about, 92% of all German Germans were killed by the Nazis. The party is in full swing. All these sales Jewish to Bavaria Germans? will be done in a pot. He answered his questions and brought all of his friends and family to the big city. The Nazis killed 17 million people. Six million of them were debauchery. Six million of them were Jews. And then the, the translation... It's a racist translation. Six million Jews died in the Holocaust. And apparently Jew in this... This translation here was synonymous with debauchery. Racist translating device machine software. <laughs> Does Jewish translate to debauchery? Yeah, in caught on to it, yeah Singapore was wet for at least wow. two days. In 1944, the Philippines was attacked by the US and Japanese fleets. 
And they were able to destroy the island of Leyte. Well, they fought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's some, some truth to these things. United, uh, Japan invaded. Well, the United States took control of the Philippines before. Japan came out, booted out MacArthur and those guys, captured the remaining soldiers. Um, and then they come back. U.S. comes back. Late Battle, Leyte Gulf was one there, and I guess they just thought to destroy each other on the island. In this case, the aircraft carriers will be sold to the American fleet, and the American fleet will be destroyed. In 1945, it is the first time in Alaska that you can find a wild boar. This is the first oh. step towards discrimination against the U.S. <laughs> 1946, Hungary is a whore. Whoa! 19 <laughs> Whoa! Just right to it. Wait, uh, uh, 54, okay, Hungarian Revolution. Against the U.S. 1946. That wasn't Hungary in 46. Is a whore. Never mind, I was trying to think of some other things going down there. But. 1955. Please tell us about the Rosa Parks bus route from Montgomery to the USA. He was arrested and fined $10 <laughs> for theft. Due to this reason, the old Brachias are boycotting the health service and the buses. U.S. President Lufa Terry, who criticizes the famous firebrand, saying we it's not a cure. The pans on the stove should be checked to see if there's any medicine, and the pans should be heated. In 19, we just speak logic from my family line. We speak cleanly and 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 and, and clearly. I mean, we just spit truth. 65. Pope Paul the Sixth gave a message to the Christians from the dead. In Whoa. 1990, Mikhail Gorbachev, the founder of the USSR, no. was awarded the Nobel Prize. On Literally the, the last <laughs> leader of the USSR. And it is a sign of glasnost, which is a sign of a ban on the people of Russia. It no. <laughs> glasnost means openness. Uh, what it did is ended the... Kind of like the free speech. They opened up... Uh, they really, really repealed a lot of censorship um, to allow people to speak a little more, more freely about the problems of uh of the soviet union so they just got it backwards in 1999 i can't wait to get to kazakhstan yeah also in 1999 boris johnson was invited to the party yeltsin johnson to get to kazakhstan also in 1999 boris johnson was invited to the oh. party of the fsb to celebrate vladimir putin's birthday okay wait, so i saw that quick little did you see the go back in the video you'll see a little pop-up in the bottom center where he's like i don't know why i said johnson but um, yeah, Putin was part of the uh, KGB, so he was already a very well-known pe person at that. The last day Yeltsin will be happy and Putin will be 10 years old. Yeah. No. <laughs> happy birthday, pal. He was not born in 1989. In 2002, <laughs> Europe slaughter is a killer to keep the euro. Also in 2002, Salt Lake City in the 19th Olympic they Games. The games. George Bush is dead. What? No. I can't wait to watch the anime series. Replaced by... Okay, hold on. He's obviously getting real... Uh, yeah, but the, yeah, Bush was not dead. He's still not dead. Games. George Bush is dead. Well, well yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to watch the anime series Naruto. <laughs> 2004, the year of Vladimir Putin, who gave yeah. his arms to China. Guns. After four years Guns. of breeding, Guns. these bees will be sent to China, where anal wax is produced. <laughs> In 2008, I don't think that happened. It is known that F Fidel Castro will go to Cuba with a big ticket. Ooh, what was it? Later, Fidel Castro w will be released from the Turkish solos in Cuba. Uh, no, he can sell his clothes for about. more than 100 tackers, which is a Guinness World Record. <laughs> so Give much it up for Castro, communists. everybody. 2012, Mohammed Nasheed, the president the of the Maldives, knows that he will steal from the world. 2015, China knows about the development of the so-called missing bullet license in 35 years. Also in 2015... Missing bullet. They do end the uh, uh, single child policy, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Dude, it's now possible to ask for a beard. 2017, <laughs> on the day of Donald Trump's... Uh, oh, I wanted to make something with the beard thing of like, maybe with Russia, how they ban... Uh, Peter the Great, like basically banned beards from the nobles you had to pay a tax if you're a noble um he's like no okay like 
Russia, we're not going to look all all grummy now. We want to be and act like Europe. We got to look like Europeans. We got to shave our beards. First election, 160 names of 400,000 US citizens were expected to be paid. Donald Trump's dream of giving birth to the march will become a reality. More than 200,000 people died in Washington. <laughs> Just because Donald Trump gave birth to the march. 2021, <laughs> the following scholarships will be awarded. Read the book. And that's the inauguration. That was the inauguration after the election, the 2016 election. They're saying 200,000 people showed up because they uh, did not the fruit. <laughs> Do what you want. It's the coldest day of the year. I'm hoping to win the, the read the book and put it on the fruit award. In 2021, the US will provide education to the people of Belarus. Two people were not killed and Congress was evacuated. <laughs> Everyone else was killed. <laughs> I like how they left, they left because someone was not killed. In 2022, you've only got a couple of choices. You can either give a blessing to those who cultivate the Arasia, send Assyria us a message to something? Belarus, send Shusha to Azerbaijan, oh. the border between Uzbekistan and, <laughs> and Norway. <laughs> There's a lot of countries between Uzbekistan and Norway. You got Central Asia, <laughs> Northwestern Europe. That's a long list. Or go to Kazakhstan. Somebody make the list down below. Memory of those we lost. Romans, the Lugs War, Leyte, Bush, <laughs> Poland, Germany. Oh, gosh. All right, final thoughts. All right, this was hilarious once again. This was a really good idea, I feel like, from, from Star of Harv to just, I don't know, it just shows it's funny with history, and you know, obviously just like, and especially if you know history and you can like compare it, like if you know nothing, I don't think this would be as, as like, as funny. So I think it, it, it makes sense why you all, like at least in my community, um, are really into this kind of thing because you know history and you love the memes and all that stuff and 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 you actually believe in funny is good it's okay to be fun <laughs> okay uh and so yeah good job with that these again we were uh, a bunch of other uh, uh funny translations in there hopefully i was able to teach you some things going through and just you can see what i was trying to do was try to think of you know actual what historical context these translations were trying to relate to and uh, anyway, it was, it was fun to do that. Now, um, when I was kind of looking at his uh, on, on his Twitter and stuff, um, he's saying it looks like he's got a, a video coming out. I think it was by this weekend. I'm do I'm making this video. Um, the time to doing this video, it's Friday, August 11th, and um, I think he said this weekend something about the Cold War or something. So it looks like we get some new content from Star of Harv over there. Don't know exactly what it's other than the Cold War, what kind of format it's going to be, but maybe. Uh, keep a, a, a look out for that. So anyway, a lot of fun uh, covering this stuff again. Thanks again to Star of Harv um, for the kind words uh, after I, I made the first video. And again, like I said earlier, let's get those subs um, up on his channel. Let's check out his other videos. It looks like just from looking at the playlist, there might be some other ones that are kind of in this format too. So plenty of fun content to consume here. All right, again, thanks for being with me and we'll see you next time. Bye.